Okay friends, it's time to get started on our job. One of the first things we're gonna have to do is remove all of our spark plug wires that come across the top right here. Something to pay attention to is they are in a specific order. So you're gonna wanna mark these. You can use a marker or whatever you need to do or even just wrap a piece of tape around it with some sort of marking, just essentially so you know exactly where they need to go when we replace this coil. Now at this point I have all these marked and yes I used the alphabet instead of numbers only because I don't wanna to try to designate this one as cylinder one where it might not even be that. So I just have them in an order, so I'm just gonna make sure I take care of this, mark it down, and now we can just go ahead and start removing these wires. To do that, we'll squeeze these two tabs, gently lift up on this. Once you remove your wires, you want to always wanna inspect them. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion, you're gonna to wanna to take care of that. This looks great, so we'll just go ahead and remove them all and check them along the way. Once you have all those off of there, make your way to the rear of the coil pack here. This is the connector. We're just gonna go ahead and carefully lift up on this tab without breaking it off, and then we'll gently slide this off. Inspect it. Let's move along to starting to remove our mounting bolts. Now for this right rear one, you're gonna find that it has some wiring that leads to it. It's kind of on a little bracket. So we want to remember exactly where that goes. You don't wanna put it in the wrong area. Let's use a seven millimeter to remove all of these mounting bolts. There's one, grab that, set it aside. Grab onto that coil, give it a little wiggle, break it free. There it is friends. Before we go ahead and install our brand new coil, let's go ahead and clean up the mounting area here. We wanna make sure that it's clean and free of any debris so we have a good ground in this area. Now I've got this all cleaned up. I also went ahead and cleaned this area here on both sides so we have a great ground on that. Lastly, before our install, let's continue on by inspecting and cleaning the threads of our mounting bolts for this. After that, put on a little bit of copper never sees and we can get ready to start our installation. I've got my bolts cleaned up and I also applied some copper never sees. I've also got the brand new coil in hand. We have the electrical connector. We wanna make sure that's facing towards the rear of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and carefully set this down on here. Now we can take all four of our bolts. We'll start them in. Once they're all started, we can bottom them out and then we'll torque them to 53 inch pounds. Now those are tight, let's go ahead and reconnect this in. We're gonna go ahead and press this in and listen for a click. There's our little click, give it a tug. You wanna make sure it's secured and it doesn't fall off of there, that's super important. A little bit of wobble is okay. Next, we can move along to reconnecting our wires. To do that, it's a good idea to use a little bit of dielectric silicone paste. We're just essentially gonna get right along this area here on all of the wires. Once that's done, we can start connecting them in. Now to do this, generally I just go ahead and take it. I'm gonna line it up and you can see that I have my two ears. They need to go right underneath this bezeled area here. So I'm gonna line it up, press it down, listen for a click. I got two clicks there. Pay attention to where those line up. You wanna make sure they're completely secured and this cannot lift up, super important. Let's go ahead and do the same to all the rest. All right, so now at this point, I'm just gonna double check all my wires. I just wanna make sure they're completely secured. And then after that, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and start up the vehicle and make sure you don't have a running condition. If you feel like you have a running condition, you could have potentially switched any of your wires, in which case you just wanna double check that. Other than that, right along the back here, you also had that wiring harness. Just make sure that's completely plugged in. Assuming everything's good, take it for a road test.